Welcome back to the channel. It is a brisk winter day out here. We have our Bear Creek right hand side, side charging upper. Um, we'll give you a breakdown on this build uh, a little bit later on. Uh, it's going to get a few different parts in the meantime. But for today, what we're going to be doing is some functionality test with this uh, Bear Creek upper and some accuracy. Uh, this is a 16 inch mid-length gunner profile barrel in this. I've put a scope on it so we can get some baseline accuracy numbers. And then uh, we will start with the torture test on this guy. So without further ado, let's get to it. To do our accuracy test, to shoot some of our groups, we've got some 75 grain, uh, generic white box, hollow points, uh, nothing special. We have some Berger 77 grain OTM tacticals. And we have some Sierra uh, Prairie Enemy 223 55 grainers. So we should be able to get a pretty good baseline accuracy between all three of these loads uh, with this budget friendly side charge upper. First up, our generic 75 grainers. Okay, that is it for the 75 grainers. We will switch over to the burger, 77 grainers. Burger, oh. 77 grain. Jacob, maybe you can see, I can't see. Are those all in the time. black circle? I think it's because it's on the... Uh... Last one, 55 grain, Sierra Match King. Okay. Let's go take a look at those groups. All three of our ammunition types shot extremely well. Looking at that target, um, with the 75 grainers shot fantastic. I mean, the first two bullets were in the same hole. Uh, out of a $209 upper, how could you ask for anything more? And then even better, our Burger 77 gram OTMs, you know, with a one and eight twist in this barrel being a 223 wild chamber, this is really what I thought was gonna shine. And it did, it shows that, you know, if the person behind the gun does their job, and, and I'm not saying I'm a, a match shooter by any means, um, this cheap upper, uh, cheap in price, not cheap in value, surprised the crap out of me, man. Uh, I, I couldn't be any happier with this barrel, you know. And then even with our 55 grain Sierras, still shot a very, very good group. Um, I think if I were to run this as a hunting rifle or or something along those lines, I probably would run the heavier grain bullets, anyways. Uh, not only for accuracy's sake, but um, all in all, super, super, super happy with this right out of the gate. Um, Next thing we're gonna do is a short little burn down on this, make sure it functions well under stress, and then we'll move on. 
Next thing we're gonna do is run two mags through this as fast as we can, see if we have any failures to feed or double feeds, anything like that. So Gen 2 P mag, standard 223 brass case. Let's go. smoking this thing's pretty hot but ate everything like a champ and uh, locked back on the last round super impressed with this works great well I guess on to the next test All right, welcome to my backyard. This thing did fantastic. Uh, great accuracy out of it. Survived a short little two magazine burn down. So uh, for a first on our channel, this was uh, viewer recommended um, by two viewers, I believe. I'll put them uh, up in the video here in their comments. I've gone ahead and dug a hole here behind me and we are going to be burying this uh, until spring. Here it is, finished. Good girl. So, uh, some of the things that have changed on this since the last time you've seen it. Standard PSA mil spec lower, uh, old Strike Industries grip that I had, old Magpul stock, uh, mil spec buffer, mil spec parts in the lower, Nothing special here, just stuff that uh, works. Everything else, the upper is the same. I just took the scope off of it. So uh, let's bury this thing. So the holes filled in, rifles at the bottom. A lot of this was frozen. Um, the dirt, because the ground is frozen, the dirt was frozen. So I'm gonna take a little water, kind of let this stuff settle in, let some of it thaw, maybe the water will get down to the bottom. Uh, yeah. There's a hole right here, I think, that goes all the way to the bottom because 
this water is going in and it's not filling up. So this might thing might be submerged in the bottom of this. Alright, so this thing is pretty much completely full of water at this point. Uh, as I put water in the middle, this outside fills up. So that tells me we've pretty much got water all the way down to the bottom of this hole. Because it is hard pack at the bottom of this. Seems fitting, doesn't it? We'll check back in uh, four or five months. All right, so with that thing in the ground, let's talk about it a little bit and let's talk about the future of this channel. So that upper, one and eight twist, 223 wild barrel, 15 inch handguard, $209 on a Bear Creek sale, the time I got it. Um, Super, super good deal on that. Super happy with it. We'll see how it turns out in four or five months when we dig that thing up. Uh, we're gonna see if it still runs. If it still runs, then we're gonna take it out, do our full torture test. Everything that we put the PSA through, we're gonna be putting that thing through. And it does have a PSA lower, which we kind of already know what to expect with that. I just wanted a good baseline to test that upper off of. Um, I've just had really, really good luck with the PSA, so I just keep buying them. Now, as far as the future for the channel and going forward, Oregon is working on passing some laws uh, that make doing what I do as a hobby, this channel, more difficult. More difficult and more costly. So I've had to delegate some of the funds that I was planning on putting towards the channel and upcoming videos and to purchasing um, some items before they become either too difficult or impossible to get anymore. Uh, that being said, we're still going to put out videos. They're just going to be on some content that I have things for and things that I can build out in a timely manner and be able to put out videos for you guys. So we're not going anywhere. The content is possibly going to be a little bit further out in uh, successions. So instead of one week postings, we'll have to do two or three week postings uh, just to try to recoup some of the funds to be able to put back into the channel um, for these upcoming builds and videos. So stay tuned. We got some suppressor reviews coming up. We got some new rifle builds coming up. Uh, some technical videos if you guys like the informational stuff, uh, some how-to and learn-to type of things. Uh, those are all in the works. Um, we've got some creative things that you won't see on any other channel, so uh, stay tuned for all of that stuff. Uh, if you want to see some new product reviews, hit us up in the comments. We'll do those as well. Just keeping this thing rolling.
Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see and you like what we've done here and you like seeing these type of builds, different type of builds, um, stuff that you didn't get on other channels, comment down below. Uh, we have an Instagram page. I'm trying to get more active in that. Um, we also have a PayPal and a Venmo set up if you feel like donating to the cause, to the channel uh, for building out new guns, trying new things, stuff you guys want to see. That's what that is for. So thank you again for watching. Uh, stay tuned. That side charge upper is part two coming out, uh, coming this spring. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we'll start doing some fun stuff. This has been Independence Arms. I'm your ambassador to freedom. Thank you for watching.